So, hello back again. Here's your Knights of Ashen Power Sieger today with Chester and Born in the Rheinauer. I did replace the equipment a little bit in the time in between. Um, we are in the same area where we were before. Um, over here, you see the same tree behind me. So, that is the tree we filmed before, where we make the sound check before regarding the leaves. And um, now the microphone is placed over here in that direction and in that direction we have more trees coming up different type of trees so their leaves produce different type of sounds when the wind level is triggered when the wind is canalized by Chester to that plant okay um, the cameras are filming and Chester gonna start to produce sound with the leaves now and I'm gonna be quiet If you watch closely the camera fuse, you will see that Chester did canalize wind. Um, the leaves were shaking much more, so he did trigger the wind by using a wind wave, by sending a specific wind wave. And he's even now canalizing the wind more for you. So you, if you watch closely the plants, you will see that the leaves do start to shake more and more, and that the plants do start to shake, uh, to move with the wind actually. That's what you can see now. Okay, and again you could hear the sound of the leaves. Again Chester did produce uh, the wind very specific and he did send wind waves. So if you watch closely, if he's triggering the wind level, and even if the wind level is a higher wind level, in that he can send wind waves and then the, the plants do start to do that kind of movement, what you could see here right now, okay? That's for your better understanding. So in the summertime, as I said before, I'm going to produce more videos with Chester and uh, our plan is to produce something like a little natural music video. So a video where the music is produced with the natural environment and I know from Chester also that he's waiting for the moment when musicians, so living humans which are musicians, uh, start to be also interested in cooperating with him so that he them is able to produce a concert video with them together where humans might produce human music and where Chester them is able to use the natural environment to add music sounds to that for your better understanding. Um, Chester gonna agree to that by triggering the wind and then you can see again that the wind tools are very strong kind of uh, very strong in the wind but you can also see the trees now can see that much more movement was in the tree and in between do not forget that I'm also checking out the microphone the new one so in between I always have to have to be quiet for a moment okay so do not wonder about that if I stop speaking for a moment if my eyes see that um, or if my ears see hear that a special area could produce a sound then I just do a cut in my voice to be able later to, to listen to that microphone because it's a sound check as well. produce the sound very specific you could see and you could hear if the microphone is working well that um, the wind level was triggered to a higher wind level at that moment in time when I stopped speaking about the fact that I have to capture the sound also so and um, these trees do produce each of these trees do produce a different kind of sound okay 
and um, as you could see in the video before and I can uh, present it to you with the one camera the area in the summertime last year me and Chester did produce a natural concert over there in this area I'm filming with the one mobile camera I can but because the equipment was not good enough we want to repeat that that's the situation so it's good to have uh, many cameras for such a big area and it's very good to have more microphones for the future because that's a very huge area where we then want to produce that natural concert video okay and just as agreeing to the fact that you want to produce that by triggering the wind so strong and you can hear it in the background as well. 